The drums of liberation! Oh! Whoa. The colors. Oh, look at Nami being strong as fuck. Hell yeah. She's not afraid of Kaido. Kaido a little bitch. According to Nami. Joy boy! Yeah! Oh, look at that. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Ah, this is so fun. Wow, look at him bouncing. <laughs> look how fun movie's having. Oh my god, this is so great. Yeah, Nami! Ah, oh, look how happy she is. Ah, I love that. Oh my god. There he is. <laughs> I love his laugh. I love the laugh. How the fuck do you guys not make Luffy your number one priority if you were looking for the fucking fruit for 800 years? I don't understand that. I, that is such a fucking... I don't understand that. The world governments are fucking... The world government are morons. Whoa, that looks so clean. Oh, look at Nika! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, they're using the cartoon sound effects. Oh my god, they're actually using cartoon sound effects. Oh, that is fantastic. Holy shit. Oh my... <gasps> Yo, this looks so fucking amazing. Holy shit. I f oh my god, I love that. Look, he, he he has that animated fucking the bouncy animated form like you see in like those old Disney cartoons. So good. Oh look, fucking that is so cool. He's literally like an old school Disney cartoon, or like an old school um Looney Tunes. They're just repeating the same shot. Why are they repeating the same shot over like? Uh oh. <laughs> the old cartoon eyes from like the mask and shit. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my god. So I fucking love it. As a huge fan of cartoons growing up, I fucking love this so much. I'm so glad they're using cartoon sound effects. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, such smooth animation. <laughs> He's doing the uh, the Hulk thing. I love how Kaido becomes a cartoon with Gear 5. Oh my god, that classic bump on the head thing. Oh, <laughs> He's just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my dear god. <laughs> he used the power of his... He used the power... He used the power of Gear 5 to transform the ground into like a cartoonish thing so that he could use it to bounce back the beam. And... I know there was a rumor saying that they got Warner Brother cartoonists to actually um, make this episode. It was false, but like I, I, I'm sure they probably asked Warner Brothers. Um, like they talked to a lot of people from like Warner Brothers about this because a lot of the sound effects that they're using also probably comes from like Warner Brothers. Although anyone could probably fully that. I love it as an old school cartoon fan. I fucking love it so much. <laughs> He's just laughing at Kaido. <laughs> like, I miss this type of style. Like, these old cartoon style, you can't replicate. It's very hard to replicate in 3D. Look, he's making the fucking ground bounce as well. That's how... That's that's literally fucking cool with Gear 5. He's making the everything around it. Anything he wishes or touches or, or imagines, he can make, like, rubbery, bouncy, and cartoonish. Fucking great. He's just having a grand old time. I love it. We don't need to see this. God, you can see the style change so much. 
Like, throughout the entire thing, you could see the animation style change drastically. Not just, like, you know, going to a more cartoony style, but, like, the filter and stuff like that also changes, which is great. Like, when you compare this to the Hiyori stuff, the filters that they use, this type of style, the type of colors that they use, they're, it's so vastly different. It's really a good thing to do when dealing with the power like this so that people could realize what is happening. It also allows people to recognize that this is Luffy's power working. I, lo oh, I love Gear 5 Luffy so much. Uh, I have an issue with like how he's a how all of a sudden he was he got like Gear 5 form in general. Um, I feel like it could have been foreshadowed a lot better. Like, you could point back to Skypiea and stuff like that, but I do feel like the Oda could have done it better. <laughs> the fucking... The fucking cartoon run. Oh my god, look at... Oh! Oh my god. He does look crazy in Gear 5. That was really fucking good. Oh, the ending. <gasps> Nami! Nami! Sorry, I'm just spotting everything non-related. I mean, overall, yeah, it was so really fucking good. They added everything they needed to. They added the different style, the aesthetic changed drastically from Gear 5 Luffy to like what they normally do. Which showca showcasing that is perfect to allow the audience to realize that Gear 5 changes not only just Luffy himself, but the entire environment of the world. That's one of the main important things about Gear 5 is that it doesn't just transform Luffy. It allows Luffy to transform anything that he wants into this cartoony fashion. And we see that with the style change that they're showing every time Gear 5 is on screen. Anytime we don't see a Gear 5, you see like the style is very reminiscent to like what they've been doing with the anime, right? But with Gear 5, you could clearly see a different style, different aesthetic to it. Which works really fucking well to showcase exactly what kind of power Gear 5 is. The tune effects, the, the fucking old school Looney Tunes, Disney, those wacky cartoon effects. I love that they added that in. I fucking love it so fucking much. It was perfect. They definitely did a good job in doing that. I fucking love Luffy's laughing Gear 5. Like, he just, he just sounds like he's just having so much fucking fun. Like, he's just a jolly guy who just wants to have fun. Uh, it's perfect because that's exactly what, um, Nika's supposed to be, right? He's supposed to be this guy who's supposed to bring joy as in joy boy he's supposed to bring joy towards everybody and luffy is the perfect person to do that because yeah like luffy sure can lose a fight can be angry when he needs to be but like he most of the time he's just a guy who just wants to have fun who wants freedom who wants freedom to do anything just wants to have fun go on adventures you know he wants to be that carefree guy and gear 5 perfectly represents that it allows him to actually be that and we clearly see with him laughing throughout the entire fucking episode that's what he does it's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. The animation. The um, the way he's more bouncy. Like, Luffy's always bouncy, right? But the way cartoons work is that you do a lot of bouncing and stretching whenever you do type of uh, motion. You see that a lot in um, those old cartoons. The bounciness and the stretchiness. During certain movements, it gives the character more life. And that's exactly what's happening with Luffy in Gear 5 form. And I think that's the perfect way to represent it. Like I said, like the rumor suggests that the Warner Brothers never actually had cartoonists working on this. I feel like they had discussions with Warner Brothers, like old school cartoonists about this, you know? And I'm pretty sure they hired animators that know about, you know, the cartoon style to basically try to do a great job with Gear 5, right? So it definitely shows like the research, the time they put in to basically learn how to animate. Because animating that, and animating and anime are vastly different. People don't understand, but it's vastly different in the way the animation works. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Gear 5 Day was so fucking good.